Welcome to Spooky Farms, everyone. You might be asking why am I wearing my hat? Well, because today we're gonna try all the foods. Not Scary Farm turned into Not Scary Farm. Yes. And because we are very much scared of it, yes. we're only here for the food. So we're here before um, an actual Scary Farm yep. event thing. So we gotta hurry up before all the spooky and, and stuff comes up. <laughs> <laughs> so there's tons of food. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, there's like a trifle, candy corn, and some sushi. I, I'm just excited. But what I really, really want is the fun with it. Yep. So shall we go hunt for some food? Yes. And I'm pretty sure if you get if you come here, you can probably get a lanyard with the list of all the foods that are available here. Yeah. Obviously, we don't have one because we're not coming for the event. We found all the information over nuts.com. Yep. Um, you can take a look there, but we'll make sure when we write down everything we're eating. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Started. All right. And also during the daytime it becomes spooky farms and nighttime becomes scary farms. There you go. I'm so ready for this. Look at this funnel cake. So the only thing is that they didn't have the lemon or the blueberry drizzle. Yes. But we did have a choice between uh, boysenberry or, or strawberry. strawberry. And so we, uh, my brother chose boysenberry because it represented blood. <laughs> a little more spooky that way. But look at this. And also we're missing the little eyeballs but I, I don't think I don't think that's gonna affect this because I mean this is already good. Also, I am about to get messy with this. <laughs> it's a little windy today, but oh, can I start? Can I start? Can I start? Can I start? Yes. Oh. Yum. Gotta get a bite of everything. Please do not fall. Bigger. I feel like the funnel cake is bigger. I mean, fourteen fifty. Yeah. I think it's a fair price. Also, we did get our discount. Yes. I'm sure a little bony. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> really, is so good. Good call on the boysenberry. <laughs> If this were the only treat we would try, I'd be happy with it. <laughs> Good, right? Yep. So, spooky, or what's it called? Not Scary Farm? Oh, not it's, Spooky Farm. It, it goes until October 31st, so you still have time. But don't wait. Because before you know it, it'll be gone. It'll be gone, just like this one, okay? Okay, so we came over to Spooky Farm here in Camp Snoopy, but look at that. Grizzly Creek Lodge, let's see what they have in here. Okay, so we came all the way to Grizzly Creek Lodge and we have the pizza slice, the chorizo pizza slice. We have the petrified burger. The cool thing about it is that it's two two deep dish pizzas Yes. working as buns. So we have a cheese pizza in the bottom and the pepperoni pizza. I am super excited for that. <laughs> and then we have an It's Alive Rice Krispies. How alive? It's actually pretty alive because it's nice and fresh. <laughs> and alive. I'll try this one. All right. The chorizo one. Spicy, the chorizo is a little spicy, so I like that. <laughs> Points to where that. The cheese is not the best cheese. Uh -huh. It's kind of like like nacho cheese, not like regular cheddar. I know it's like, yellowish. But it's nice. Ooh, a train. But I mean, it's not a bad pizza. Yeah. But I wonder if this is going to be better. You know what it reminds me of? Like school pizza. Mm. I like that. There we go. No, I'm excited for it. Do not let me down. Look, nice bite there. Huh. Who thought of this? <laughs> <laughs> the ridges are a little hard. The yeah. ridges are a little hard to take bite of. Yeah. I mean, this is a fun idea. It is like, um, like those, um, what do you call them? Like freezable pizzas? Yeah. They just like pop in there. I mean, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's fun. 
It's just not something I would thought of it. Yep. But it's still really good. I mean, I am enjoying it. I'm going to eat this. <laughs> this one, I think between these two, I would say get this one. The extra pie burger. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Another bite. Let me see. No problem. Oh, and also you guys order a sandwich or a burger here. They actually have the wallet, the salad bar open so that we could dress your burger. Mm -hmm. So what we got is we got some ketchup, some pickles. Ooh, sure, pickles. And I got some banana peppers. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. All right. It's alive, it's alive. Frankenstein. Frankenstein? It's Frankenstein. Yeah. Get out of here. Alright, thank you. That's all for coming. It's actually pretty good. It's nice and fresh because, I mean, take a look at that. This scares me though. I feel like it's a lot of pain because you can kind of see it in my fingers. That's why. It's, it's alive. alive. It's a blob. <laughs> okay, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I think overall, I like this one better. Yeah? Yeah. It's not bad. It has a kick to it. I think this cheese is just not... Made for it or something like that? Yeah, I think maybe it was just regular mozzarella would have been better. Gotcha. But or cheddar cheese or something like that. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like the Mexican blend. I think that's what it's tasting like. Uh... You know, it has a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay guys, so we came over here to Fiesta Village and this is actually the first kiosk that I've seen that has the, um, the menu of everything they have. Here's a QR code in case you guys want to scan it and see the event map. This is awesome. Now we're going to snap a picture and then we can check off everything we've done. And these are all the experiences you'll see at the Okay guys, so we came over to Fiesta Village and my heart is broken because number one, over Cantina we have a decomposing taco and never in my wildest dream did I think that de decomposing taco meant Doritos and the taco beef with pico, lemon, and salsa. I'm not a huge fan of this. It might be good, but I'm just kind of freaked out. And then over at La Papa Loca, we got the Mesmer's fries, which are bacon cheese fries. I don't like bacon bits, <laughs> not even one bit. Also, um, because they're barely setting up and um, they don't have the waffle fries yet, so we just got them in regular fries. There's the cheese. I can honestly tell you already that it's not my favorite spot. Last but not least, the one treat that I did want to try was up over at the Mummy Dogs. And again, because they're barely setting up for the treats and everything, it's closed right now. Aww. So, strike three. <laughs> Let's try this. It literally tastes like the cheese from the, from the pizza. Yeah. If it didn't have the bacon bits, this would be okay. But this is a pass for me. And then um, we have the decomposing taco. I'm so nervous for this. I'm gonna put some lemon here. But it's decomposing. It wants to be a taco. <laughs> now it's buried. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be different. Let's try the meat. So we have Doritos, there's some cheddar cheese in there, pico de gallo. She did give me hot sauce. It's a little loud because the, the rights are going on by the way guys. Yes. Let's try this. Say it's a fun thing, but not my favorite. But between this and that, I would go for this. You just really, really, really want to have to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they did put lettuce in it. Taco. Oh, cool. It's pretty much like a Taco Bell deconstructed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, for the spooky festivity, they actually have spooky prizes. They have ghosts, little pumpkins, of the squash loaves. Yep. And spiders. Yep. So you guys come here and play the games. You get a little uh, spooky. Merchandise or spooky prices. All right, guys. Not scary farm tickets on sale now. Okay.
Okay, so we made it all the way to the boardwalk. We're gonna go inside the boardwalk barbecue. They have some mac and cheese. I, honestly, after all that cheese, that bad cheese, it just sounds bad right now. But I hope it's good. They do have the, oh, let me show it to you. They have um, the trifle here, and then they have the sushi one. Before we get started, I want to apologize for the loud noise. The tables and the chairs here are metal, so there's a lot of scraping going on, so I'm sorry about that. But we did come to the Boardwalk Barbecue, and we got the the cauldron. Yes. I'll get you the full names that I just <laughs> forgot. Then we have the gooey, gooey mac and cheese, as she called it. Then the candy corn trifle. And they hadn't brought out the... Um, the crab rolls, the candy corn crab rolls. So I'm really excited about that. And then you got the agua fresca, the strawberry agua fresca. Yes. I'm really excited for this. This looks promising. Better than what I thought. Okay, so it's mac and cheese with um, Cheeto puffs and chives. This is so much better than that other thing we just had over there. The fry stuff. And I will tell you guys that we threw it away. That's how bad it was. That's actually pretty good. I'm shook. I'm shook too. I threw away like eight bucks. It's like a lemon um, hot Cheeto. Yeah. You know what? It might be that. It might be caffeine. Mm. Tastes more like tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the brisket mac and cheese with the black waffle cone. Or the cauldron. There you go, that's what it's called, the cauldron cone. Put some brisket. Let's try this. Uh, the brisket looks kind of weird. Their mashed and cheese is good though. <laughs> Their brisket's okay. Sometimes I'm a fan of barbecue, sometimes I'm not. And I think with all the stuff that we've eaten, yeah. I'm not in the mood for barbecue. <gasps> So it's not necessarily something I would get, but on a, on a normal day, I would most definitely get this and eat it. Yes. It's a little dry though. But their mac and cheese is actually really good. Like, yes. And this is their hamburger mac and cheese. Yes. I will make sure I write everything. Yes. Uh, I remember that I have a little piece of hamburger. Yeah. Also, if, you're, uh, if the brisket is dry, they also have barbecue sauce over here mm -hmm. at the table. So. You want to try it with barbecue sauce? Mm-mm. Scary. I don't even know how to grab this. Oh, it's a soup cone. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was going to be salty. Yeah. But here's the big winner. Okay. This is the candy corn trifle. Ooh. It looks, it looks super, super sweet. I don't even think I could get all three. No more. Oh. We saw that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, this is good. It's really sweet, but it's good. So, I'm not a huge fan of candy corn. There's little pieces in there. I mean, obviously there's one top. There's little pieces in here, but it all works. This is regular buttercream. We have yellow buttercream and orange buttercream. The, the angel cake is so spongy and so soft. Barritos. Said they put the strawberry on fresca, so it's like strawberry with apple and hibiscus. It's not that sweet. It's not as sweet as it sounds. Hmm. And then this one by the way, it looks and smells really sweet, but it's not as sweet as it sounds. Gotcha. I really like it. These two are the winners. This is a witch finger matcha shake. They did put uh, some blood in there, or should I say some syrup? <laughs> But look at that finger. <laughs> Isn't that just perfection with the little almond? <laughs> well, I think, I, you, you didn't point it out to me, I couldn't tell that's an almond. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Okay, let's give it a go. Why chance, is this, is this shit giving me the finger? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. Well, that's good. It definitely does not have a lot of matcha. Uh -huh. It's really, really good, and it's not that sweet. This is actually a nice treat. Something you can share. It's really smooth. The shake is super smoothy and frothy. And this strawberry syrup, it's delicious. The whipped cream is so good. Let's try the cookie. Huh? It's weird. I get the matcha flavor in the cookie. Huh. So you maybe you should then dunk it and that way the matcha falls in the... No, it's just a sugar cookie. Oh, okay. But I think the cookie actually grabs all of the flavor of the matcha in, in that bite. But it's actually pretty good. This is delicious. I mean, besides the funnel cake, mm -hmm. why is it the knots always kills it with the sweets, but their food is just like... <gasps> but you said their mac and cheese was good. I mean, their mac and cheese is good, but you have to mess up mac and cheese. I mean, how can you mess up mac and cheese? <laughs> This is, this is really good, really good. Oh, I forgot, I even, it's so good, I forgot our food. Okay, so this is the Carnage Burger. It's super scary, by the way. How so scary? We, we have black, a black bun, and then we have a patty with hot dogs and cheese. And then to top it all off, I don't know. Okay, that's the scary part. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's give it a go. The name Carnage just scares the bejesus out of me, by the way. <gasps> How's it? You can't mess up a hot dog and, and a patty. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think I like the pizza one better. Yeah. You can't really mess it up. The hot dogs are nice and good. They're nice and crispy and, and they're on the grill. So they have that extra added grease on it uh -huh. from the burger. And I'm not going to lie, I like that. I like that, that mixture of flavor. So I think this is a fun burger. Um, I think this was $16. I don't think it's worth $60. No. Yeah. But I mean, it has jalapeno, so. But I think, honestly, I feel like the Petrified Burger is worth more than this. And I think the Petrified Burger was like $10. You guys, the park is about to close. So we got the last two treats we could get. Yes. Unfortunately, we did not try everything. I think we're missing a total of five. Um, I want to say, yeah, a total of five. And two of them were because they weren't ready um, yeah. to be sold. So this is a dark entity. It's a lychee. Um, it actually has a lychee for an eyeball. Yes. This looks really good, and I believe it's like um, like a dice pair or something like that. Yes. I'll make sure I let you guys know in a bit. This but, dice pair. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. And then we have the waffle witch. Ooh. Maybe Which waffle? Poisonberry ice cream. Now this reminds me of the waffles that they sell at the store. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. I don't know. It does not look promising. Aww. But I want to try the boy. I want to see boysberries for me. Where's it at? Where? Where? It does not taste like boysberry. Okay, this is gonna be super messy. I believe in you. I believe in you. No. Oh. I didn't like it. Again, this reminds me a lot of the ones that are already sold in the store. Yeah. Where you can just um, buy and then re reheat. It's very, the, the waffle is like very like dense. Mm. I didn't like it. I, I don't also don't like the ice cream very much. Mm. Let's try the, the dice pear lychee one. Right. Here's the little eyeball. This looks a little more promising. <laughs> yeah, it's a little better. <laughs> It tastes a lot like like grape like grape juice, diluted grape juice. Uh, but you can't taste the mint. Yeah, I gotcha. That's, that's the good part that you can't really taste the mint. Sorry guys, I didn't know. <laughs> you can really taste the mint, so that's the really good part. Gotcha. Now over at the Charleston Coffee Circle Booth, we got two treats that were on my must-get list. <laughs> and one of them was bopping for apples. This one, the bopping for apples, is macaron. Ooh. Which looks absolutely ghoulish and cool. By the way, since the park's about to close, they're only serving a couple more people per booth. Oh, look! There it goes! The Galloping Goose! I'm guessing this one works like the train? 
Yes. It takes you around the whole trip? Yes. Oh. Okay, so we have the chai latte, the chai pumpkin latte whoopie pie. All I can tell you guys is if this one sucks, all hope is lost. <gasps> no! Because it smells absolutely amazing. You can smell the chai, you can smell the pumpkin, you can smell the latte, you can smell the love. You can smell the hopes and dreams <laughs> of this park. <laughs> I'm so excited for these two. These two were my must get. The bopping for apples, macaron, and then the, the whoopie pie. Oh my goodness, please do not let me down. No. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I don't know if I really, really like it. Or if I don't like it. <laughs> my heart and soul is fighting for liking it, but the back of my spine is like, I think I know why I don't like it. Why? I mean, we yes actually know. Ladies and gentlemen, the amusement area is now closed. We hope you and your friends had a happy and memorable day here in Oxbury Farm, and that you return again very soon. Once again, the I think what I don't like is this like sugary coat that they put there. Mm. Is it powdered sugar or something? I want to say yes. So I'll be fair. It's nice and spongy, mm. just like a movie pie supposed to be. Yes. You can taste the chai, and you can taste the cloves, and every everything that comes with the pump, the pumpkin latte. Yeah. But the the cream here is a tad bit buttery like Starbucks treat and technically it is a Starbucks place yeah so you cannot give uh, as a park rating because it's not a park treat you know it's, what I'm saying I'm fighting with myself like I said I really really want to like it but my my spine is saying no but I want to be fair so I think if I had a graded it would get a three. Oh. you know out of five it would yeah. get a three out of five so that's not bad it's just yeah. balanced out you might like it. I might like it tomorrow since I have too many sweets. I might like it later with some coffee. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I need. I need a little coffee just to balance out all the sweets we have. But it smells really good. That's why I'm so conflicted. Now, please. Please. Poppin' for apple. Oh, my God. We can go home. We <laughs> ended on a high note. All right. It's nice and crunchy. Definitely not not as, as soft as <laughs> those other macarons. But macarons are never soft. But you know what's cool about it? Huh? I, I taste a little pistachio, which I don't think this, that's what they were going for. Yeah. I think they were going for like a green apple. Yeah. But it's not bad. I like it. Of these three desserts, I really like that. I might like this one more with some coffee and maybe a couple hours later. You gotcha since I haven't eaten that many sweets. But man, my heart's broken. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this, um, what would we call it? This spooky, spooky video. We came over to Not Scary Farm, or Not Scary Farm, however you want to call it. Um, last year when we were here, we did the whole trick or treat thing. Or the really cool. taste of Halloween. The taste of Halloween, which we did trick or treat. That was really, really fun. This year, park's been reopened. We got to come and enjoy the park, come and enjoy the food. Now, the, the food is not just for the not scary farm. It's so you can also get it on a regular ticket day because it's meant for the party. Some of the things might not be available like today. Yeah. But um, other than that, I mean, I think it was overall it was enjoyable. We had some ups and downs, but that mac and cheese was pretty good. Yes. I think the worst of the worst was over at Fiesta Village. I would take this, even the, the little sandwich thing, over Fiesta Village. That was just crazy. Maybe next time we come, we'll try to ride the Calico Candy Train. The like Calico that. Candy Mine Train. Yeah. So, next time we'll come, we'll do some rides, and then um, hopefully we can catch some of the other foods that we can get to see. So thanks for joining us, and make sure you follow us over for right on Instagram. I'm just going to be seeing you guys next time. Stay tuned for more spooky videos coming your way. Yep. And we shall see you next time. Alrighty.